G'day everyone, James Edge here, PGA Professional down at East Lake Golf Club. I'm going to go through Drill of the Week. So Drill of the Week is a speed control drill and this is going to be in reference to your putting. So what you're going to need is a putter, a ball, some tees and a hole or a target. So I've got a pool noodle here to go towards. This drill is going to be great for the golfer who putts, struggles with their speed control, has really inconsistent length of stroke each time. They might have a 20 foot putt, leave it six foot short. 30 foot putt, hit a 10 foot by, 10 foot butt, leave it two foot short, so on and so forth. So obviously they don't have any process or any way of staying consistent with their distance control or speed control on the putting green. So this is gonna be great for you. So the way we're gonna go about it is you can control speed on the putting greens with tempo, but I believe you need some sort of structure with length of stroke to be able to control the speed firstly. And the way I'm gonna do that is, I've got four tees here. So the first tee, you put your golf ball in line with that. Then you set up to the putt like normal. And each tee represents a different length putt. So if I take the club or putter back to the first tee, that's a short length putt. If I take it back to the second tee, that's a mid length putt. And then if I take it back to the last tee, that's a long putt. So it's just, it's a very broad kind of guide that you can use to give you some structure for speed control on the green. Now, we're controlling it by the length of the stroke by making the backswing longer. The follow through on the other hand though, most of the best golfers in the world finish with their putter past their lead foot around about this angle here with shoulder tilt of roughly 10 degrees relative to the ground. So this is gonna stay constant. This position is gonna stay the same. The only thing that's the variable is changing is the backswing. So that's the concept and the idea behind it. So I'll give it a go now. So I'm gonna do the short putt first. So setting up here. And the reference point I'm using is the shaft. And the other point for the short putt is the shaft is gonna to get to the insole of my right foot. So that's what you can use when you're on the course if you don't have the tees. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so the short putt is going a certain distance. Now I'm gonna do the next length, which is the mid. Okay, follow through is gonna stay constant. Backstroke is gonna get longer. That's the only difference. Okay, it's gone longer. I've had the same follow through position there. And then finally, the last one. Gonna go do the long putt length now. So shaft past the outsole of the right foot. Okay, so you can see that one there has gone out of view now. That's gone the longest because the length of stroke in my backswing was longer. So the great drill to give you a bit of structure and guide in regards to distance control or speed control. So please give this a go. Uh, if you like this content, please hit the like button below. Uh, and if you enjoy the content you've been seeing week to week and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button below as well. And remember, persistence pays off and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.